All right. Because some things does not happen in your life until you get to a certain place. That's right. The woman that has been abused by the husband and he whip her morning and noon and night. In spite of how much she says she loves him, eventually she'll get to the place yes, where she'll move to another place. There are things that cause you to get in certain places in life that cause you to make various decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want to focus on a particular place tonight, if I can. It's here in this scenery. It's an unusual place that I want to spend some time discussing. Because as quiet as it is kept, places in the Bible are important. Mm -hmm. That's right. It was a place called Mount Aaron where the ark landed when the flood was over. Mm -hmm. It was a place called Moriah mm -hmm. where Abraham offered his son Isaac as a sacrifice. Right. It was a place called Sinai where God gave Moses the written law. Mm -hmm. It was a place called Mount Pisgah where God showed Moses the promised land. It was a place called Mount Nebo, where God buried Moses and turned around and buried his grave. It was a place called Mount Carmel, where Elijah challenged the God that answers by fire. It's a place called Mount Zion, where David found out that God is a strong hope in the time of trouble. It's a place called Mount Olive, where Jesus went and retired and prayed all that night. Mm -hmm. It's a place called Mount Hermon, where Jesus was transfigured, his divinity outshined his humanity. Right. But then there was a place called Calvary, oh, yeah. oh, right. where Jesus paid the sin dead. Yes. Calvary is a place that supersede the other places. Just as a castle is beyond the cabin and room space. Just as an orchard is beyond the twig and fruit bearing. Just as a river is beyond a rail in distance. Just as a cannon is beyond a pump gun in power. Just as eagle wings are beyond sparrow wings in strength, so is this place called above and beyond all other places. It's an unusual place. It is a place that was, first of all, prophesied. Because the prophets talked about this place. Matter of fact, the prophets, they says in this place that he shall be wounded for our transgression. Yeah. He shall be bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. The prophets prophesied about this place. Matter of fact, the first prophecy in the Bible is Genesis 3, 15. It says that he shall, his head shall be bruised. And the serpent's head shall be bruised, and his head shall be, his heel shall be bruised. He prophesied this place. <laughs> but it was not, not only a place of prophecy, it was a place that Jesus preached about. Because when you hear Jesus preaching, his sermon was about this place. Listen at what Jesus says in John 3, 14. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, yeah. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Listen to him in Matthew 16, 21. The time has come that the Son of Man should be offered in the hands of sinful men, be crucified, die, but rise again on the third day. He preached about this 
place. Right. Listen to that here in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have ever lasting in life. It was about this place. Right. Hear him in John 12, 32. And I, if I, be lifted from the earth, will draw all men unto me. It was about this place. The prophets prophesied about the place. Jesus preached about the place, but God the Father planned the place. Because Revelation 13 and 8 said the Son was slain before the foundation of the world. Meaning that it was no coincident, no accident. God didn't wait until man had sinned and then start planning his salvation. The salvation plan was in place before Adam was first come or first made it to planet Earth. You see, I like that about God. God does not come after stuff. To be honest, Jesus had already died in the in the mind of God before he was born yeah. at Bethlehem. Yeah. Yeah. He had already died at Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I know that's difficult for human personality to be able to comprehend because we have to cut time in the segments for right. us to be able to handle it. Uh -huh. yeah. We have to cut time up in the past, yeah. present, future, uh -huh. yesterday, today, Tomorrow. But yesterday is in the tomb. Yeah. Tomorrow is in the womb. Yesterday is a castle check. Tomorrow is a promise every day. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is mystery. Yesterday is recollection. Tomorrow is speculation. But with God, everything is an eternal now. With God, yesterday is now. With God, today is now. With God, tomorrow is now. God never have to leave anywhere to get anywhere. He is already where he is going. And still what he wants. He can tiptoe and stand flat at the same time. He can take a crooked stick and hit a straight leg. Talk to the son. It is a place of prophecy. But it is also a place of provision. Because provision was made here at Carrot Provision for my salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Because God knew that I was born in sin and sin soils and spoils. Uh, yeah. Sin chokes and provokes. Uh -huh. Sin tarnishes and punishes. Yeah. Sin mars and bars. Sin itches and switches. Yeah. Talk to me somebody. Yeah. And he knew that I needed to have a plan for salvation. I needed to be deliverance. Provision was made at this place. Yeah. Abraham had it right when he was on his way to offer Isaac as a sacrifice. And Isaac was with him. And Isaac said, now, I, Dad, I've been with you on these trips before, but I looked in your sacrificial basket, and I see that there are some items missing. So I see the wood. Yeah. I see the fire. Yeah. I see the rope. I see the knife. But where? Is the yeah. 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 Abraham said, my son, God will provide. Yeah. 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 Work for yeah. is a compound word. Pro means before. Yeah. Vile is when you get the word video, yeah. which means God saw it before. Yeah. I, I like that about my God. Nothing yeah. is a surprise to him. Yeah. He see it before. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at somebody here now. You messed up real bad, and you wonder if God will forgive you yeah. of your sins. Can I tell you? He saw it before. Yeah. 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 Before he saved you, he already knew when you was gonna mess up, when you was gonna mess up, how you was going to mess up, and he forgave you.
Your soul, he will, he provides. Watch what it says. God will provide himself. Yeah. In other words, God will wrap himself up in the human flesh. Talk to me, somebody. Come down and die for mankind. You see, Jesus is God reincarnated. Yeah. Because when you see Jesus, you see God. Yeah. Jesus said, listen, I and my father we are one. He said, if you want to write a letter to my father, just send it to my address. Yeah. Because we live in the same house. Do I have the please are the vision, the please of prophecy. Yes, but there's also a please of pain. You talk about pain that you go through. Yeah, yeah. You not experience pain like what Jesus had yeah, to man. go through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jesus experienced yeah. mental pain. Yeah. 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 He experienced social pain. Yeah. Yeah. He, he experienced physical pain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. He experienced spiritual pain. Jesus encountered some pain. Yeah. 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 It would have a witness. It was, it was a mental pain because nothing was a surprise to him. See, not like you and me. We walk into stuff we didn't know was coming. We surprised when we walk into not so with Jesus. Jesus knew ahead of time what was getting ready to take place. You see, he lived in the shadow of the cross. Everywhere he went, things reminded him of the cross, working in his father's carpenter to shop. Every time he would work on wood, it would remind him of the rugged cross. That one day he would be hanging on. Every time he would pick up a nail, it would remind him of the nails that would go through his hands. Every time he would go into the garden and see roses and thorns, it would remind him of the funny crown that one day would be upon his head. He lived in the shadow of the cross. You see, the death of Jesus was natural. It was unnatural. It was preternatural. natural It was supernatural. It was natural because he died. Yeah. It was unnatural because he died without committing the sin. Yeah. It was preternatural because it was predetermined. Yeah. It was supernatural because no man took his life. Yeah. He laid it down. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I can lay it down. Yeah. I can pick it up again. Yeah. Yeah. He suffered socially. Because the people that started out with him fell by the wayside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, while he was at Calvary, his church has diminished down to five members. All right. Y'all yeah. hear me, don't no. you? Five members standing around the cross. Now, the only one was there was his mother, John, Mary, Madeline, another Mary, and Salome. But the only what happened to the crowd? Yeah. 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 All those five thousand that was there to be fed. What happened to the woman with the issue of blood? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. What happened to blind Bartimaeus? Why was his best friend Lazarus? Yeah. 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 You ever ask yourself, what happened to make people leave you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What you, say? Uh -huh. you see, you gotta understand that God put people in our lives. In stages. Yeah. Yeah. Some people are there just for an event. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Some of that for an era. Yeah. Yeah. And some of that for an eternity. Yeah. 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 I'm preaching, I know it. Yeah. You see what messes up? People that he put that for an era. For an event, you try to keep them for an era. Yeah. 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 And that event folk. And you can't make error out of events for a couple of times. They're that just for an event to do what needs to be done at the moment and they go. Some of that for an e for an error, that means they may be there five years, ten years, fifteen years, but sooner or later they're gonna leave you. 
To be honest, if they stay, they take you on that. So when they leave, thank God for the time they were there and been prospered. I have a problem with folk leaving until I discover that. Because sometimes your feelings is hurt. Most times the one that walk away are the ones you did the most for. Once you went out of the way to help and yeah. to give them a helping hand, and they uh -huh. turned and walked away, they was not designed to stay with you, family. Yeah. 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 Because remember, God will send somebody else yeah. Yeah. and make you forget who was that. But you turn around and you got a good job. Yeah. If you'd have stayed back there, talk to me somebody. You still be struggling right now. Yeah. And now you're a supervisor, a boss on the job. You never would have been more than back there. You have to thank God for him finding you. Because they took Jesus. Uh -huh. uh, and the thing that troubled me so much was that Jesus didn't have to go through what he went through. He says in Matthew chapter 26, he said, I can pray the Father. Uh -huh. yeah. And he will send me at least 12 legions of angels. Now, a legion is 6,000. Twelve legions, that's 72,000 angels. Now, the book of Isaiah says that one angel killed 185,000 men. Just one angel. But now, if you get one legion of angels, that means they can get rid of, talk to me something, 11 billion. One hundred ten million. Seventy-two thousand angels can get rid of thirty-three million. Three hundred twenty million folks. That's more people that's on the planet. Talk to me, somebody. He had that at his disposal. Yet he went through what he went through. He suffered physically. It took Jesus. Took off his sinless robe. They got whipped, planted it with pieces of metal, pieces of dry bone, mm. uh, pieces of, uh, yeah, of, 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 of glass, and put it in the whip, and then they whipped his leg. Mm. Mm. Unrecognizable. Yeah. Every time they would hit him with the whip and pull back, pieces of flesh mm. would come from his body. Yeah. The problem I had with it. Every lick he took was meant for me. That's why I don't quit just because of what folks say. That's why I don't quit for any That's why I keep going when I don't feel like going. Because Jesus took a lick for me. Talk to me. Was the hand. 
Mm. Because Jesus had had history. Yeah. I wish it had some history. Yeah. Yeah. That there was some history in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Because with his hand, he had touched blind yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And they were able to see with his hands. He had touched dumb tongues. And they were yeah. able to speak with his hand. He was touching death heels. And they were able to hear with his hand. Yeah. And made banquets out of it. So they yeah. said, we gotta stop the hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> like the yeah. hey, the nails mm. in his hands. And when they got ready to rivet his feet, they put his body in a 45 degree angle. Uh -huh. And put the nails between the bones. All the nerves is in your feet. Yeah. And when they put the nails there, a 45 degree angle. For his feet, it made his thigh in a 45 degree shape. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it made him uncomfortable while he was there. Yeah. And by being in an uncomfortable place, when his legs start to give away, mm -hmm. he pulls up with his hand. Yeah. And when he pulls up with his hand, pain shoots through his body. Yeah. And as pain began to shoot through his body, it causes his heart to be faster. Yeah. And as his heart be faster, it causes the blood to flow faster. Yeah. And as the blood flow faster, it causes the inward scale layer of the skin to separate from the outward layer of the skin. Yeah. And as the inward and outward start separating, he starts sweating blood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, have two witnesses in this house. And the thing I watched Jesus, he didn't say, Oh, mama, then. Oh, he got my mama. He didn't say, Mama, then. Where? Here he is. Here he is. Going through all of this turmoil. Now, dealing with mosquitoes and flies, wild dogs. And they walking around, poking fun at him, picking the beard from his face, the hair, slapping it. Ask him if you're king, tell me who hits you. Yeah. He suffered physically. Yeah. 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 But it also suffered spiritually. Yeah. Because throughout eternity, the Father and Son had never been separated. Yeah. Yeah. That's why John 1 and 1 in the beginning was the word, the word was with. Huh? We were cross. What cross be our ass in the Greek? It means intimate, it means face to face. Yeah. Yeah. It means the Father and the Son throughout eternity, they were face to face. Yeah. Yeah. They never separated throughout eternity until they made it to Calvary. Yeah. But when they got to Calvary, that was a separation. You know what separated them? It was my sin. Yeah. 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 You see, sin always separates. Yeah. And it was there that the Father had to turn his back on his own son. He suffered. It was a place of prophecy. It was a place of provision. It was a place of pain. But it was also a place of prayer. Because a prayer took place at this place. Here's the prayer. Father, When you read about God in the Old Testament, whenever they would approach him, they would give him another name. They would call him names like Waymaker, uh, Rose of Shadrach, Lily of the Valley, uh, a wheel in the middle of a wheel. But when Jesus talked to him, he called him Father. Now, watch this. By them saying what he is, that he's a wheel, a wheel may be able, but they got no compassion. Uh, a stone may have power, but it got no compassion. Yeah. You see, there are some folk you know that's able to help you, yeah. but they don't care. Yeah. And you got some folk that care, but they ain't able. Yeah. But what Jesus said, I called the Father. He said, listen, number one, I know he care about me. Secondly, I know he's able to do yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
give y'all, I'll give y'all what y'all want in just a moment. <laughs> it was a please, a prayer. He said, Father, the watch this, forgive them. Yeah. 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 Forgive them. Forgive them. Underline the little word them just for a moment. I swear to name Jesus. Now, why you didn't get into name call? Jesus. Wasn't it true that Herod was responsible for putting him on the cross? Yes. Jesus. Is it true that Pilate had an opportunity to release him? Yes. Jesus. Is it true that the Roman soldiers are the ones that nailed him to the cross? Yes. I said, Jesus, why you didn't say forgive have a pilot of the Roman soldiers? Yeah, yeah. The Lord said, I could have said that, but I would have missed something. Oh, yeah. I said, what you mean? He said, they were not the only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put me in. That's what you're saying. What you're he said, remember when Adam said in the garden? I said, yes. He said, his sin is put me Yeah, all right. See, remember when Abraham lied about his wife and said she was his sister? So his sins put me in. See, remember when Moses killed an Egyptian and buried him in the sand? See, his sins put me in. Talk to me, son. Remember when Samson got his heart cut in the wrong Bible shop? His sin put me in. So remember when Solomon had a thousand women and still chasing? His sins put me in. When Jeremiah was a backslider, his sins put me here. Remember when David took another man's wife, his sins put me here. Remember when Joe Custody, she was born, his sins put me here. He's a matter of fact, preacher, I get a little closer to your great great granddaddy's sin. Put me on the cross. Your granddaddy's sins, your daddy's sins, your sins, your son's sins, your son's son's sins, your son's 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 sins. Son, 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 son. So he said, Father, forgive them. You don't have a witness yet. You see, the them is a pronoun, but it's a child. Yeah. So he said, listen, I'm going to include everybody. He said, you and the them. <laughs> he said, forgive them. What? Because they don't know what they are doing. Hey. Hey. I said, Jesus, wait a minute. You and the them, they live in your hands and don't know it. Put the spikes in your feet and don't know it. Put the, on the crown on your head and don't know it. Come on, Jesus. You make an excuse for these men. Jesus said, they do. They were there in the hands. But they didn't know whose hand they were in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew they was putting spikes in feet. But they did not know it was the master's feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew, yeah, that they was putting a, a thorny crown upon their head. Yeah. But they did not know it was the Son of God's here. Have I got a witness? It's a please. I'm through. It's a please. A prophecy. It's a please. You don't hear me, don't you? A, a please. Yeah, a provision. It is a please. A pain. But it is a please. A promise. I like it because the, the Lord made some promises on the cross. First promise he made was there would be a resurrection. I'm glad about that because by saying there will be a resurrection. It means that when I die, I will not see if Jesus got up, then I too will not get up. Y'all hear me, don't you? And somebody here know you heard, haven't you, that Jesus did get up from the grave. 
parade. They look for him that Sunday morning and the stone had been rolled away from the grave. Now the stone was not removed for Jesus to get out. The stone was removed for them to get in. Come on, talk to me. Because you don't have to move nothing for Jesus to go nowhere. Jesus can walk through a door without opening the door. Matter of fact, the reason he can do that is he is the door. And I got witness here. You ought to run and stop by Jesus. Because he said, I am the, the door of an opportunity. Do I have a witness here? He promised a, a resurrection. But he also promised a, a return. Can I tell you that sooner or later, the Lord is coming back again. Chapter 1, verse 7, help us out. Say, behold, he come with cloud. Have a God witness here. And every eye shall see him. That name is public. You see, when he came the first time, only a handful of folks saw him. But when he come back the second time, every eye shall see him. Say come with cloud. That means it's prestigious. He's coming on the cloud. The reason he's coming on the cloud because he left on the cloud. And I got a witness in that because it said in Acts chapter one, the same way you see him go, the same way he's coming back. Witness here, and the holy comfort cloud, and I shall see him, but then it's gonna be painful because the rest of the day that pierced him shall also see him. Now, can I tell you, if you live in your sin, you don't want to see him when he come back, but if you're like me, I'm looking for the day when I can see Jesus. That heaven in this home 